Hello, my dear friends, this is Yule Humphreys speaking to you from the subject of Bible Reflections, and I'm glad to share with you a word today from, from the Word of God. <clears throat> I want to speak to you on the fact that uh, we need to read the Bible. The Bible b brings a song. The Bible produces singing. It produces a song in your heart. And we need that. We need that. In this world of woe, we need to be able to sing. And praise God, it comes when we read God's Word and find the truth that God has given to us. Now, in the book of Colossians, the third chapter, verse 16 and 17, we read these, these words. Let the Word of Christ dwell in your heart in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, to do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father by Him. So we see it's important that we read the Word of Christ. Let the Word of Christ dwell in your hearts in all wisdom. We need to read the Word of God, the Word of Christ. And that's the reason we need to spend time in the New Testament. Spend some time reading Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the four Gospels of the life of Christ and his teachings. And then read the epistles of Paul, uh, Romans and Galatians and Ephesians and, and Colossians and Philippians. Those, my, those, uh, those books that are so important. The books of uh, uh, First Peter and also of First John are so very important. We need to read and even in the Old Testament, but spend most of your time in the New Testament because that's where we live today. Now then, the Bible says, let the word of Christ dwell in your heart. And in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in the fact that it dwells in your heart, in order for it to dwell in your heart, you need to read it and to think on it, to memorize it. Let the word of Christ dwell in your heart. You can memorize that much. Let the Word of Christ dwell in your heart. And then read the Word and think on the Word. The Holy Spirit will bring it to your mind and heart and you'll be able to do that to let it bless your life. The Word of Christ will bless your life. Let it dwell in your heart in all wisdom. In all wisdom. And where do we get wisdom? We do not get wisdom from universities and colleges and reading. We get knowledge. But there's a difference in knowledge and wisdom. Wisdom comes from God. Wisdom comes from God. The Bible says in, uh, in uh, James, the first chapter, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who giveth to all men liberally, and it shall be given him. If you need wisdom, ask of God, and he'll give you that wisdom. And we need to see the importance of it, the wisdom of God. And then it says in this scripture that I've read to you, that we need to sing. We need to sing. The Bible says... Let the word of Christ dwell in your heart in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Oh, just sing something, anything, like he's got the whole world in his hands. You know, you can sing that. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the little bitty baby. In his hands, he's got the little bitty baby. In his hands, he's got the little bitty baby. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, people. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Just sing. It's good for your soul. <clears throat> Just sing. Let the word of Christ dwell in your heart and learn to sing. Grace in your heart to the Lord. Sing. In Psalms 23, it says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You know, I believe that God wants His people to be joyful. I believe He wants them to be happy. And I'm speaking to some of you, and I've been there, dear friend. 
You're depressed. You're down. You need a lifting up. You need the light to come on. You need the help of God. And look to Him. And say, Lord God, I believe. I believe in Your Word. It teaches me to believe in Jesus as my Savior and my Lord. And that You love me. I'm going to believe in Jesus right now. And I'm going to believe in God's love for me. That You love me. And in that love, I find strength. I find strength. The light comes into my life and the darkness flees. I believe in the love of God. It comes to me through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Jesus said, I am the door. If any man comes to me, he will go into the kingdom of God. And in the kingdom of God, there is joy and peace. And the Bible said, Jesus said, I have spoken these things to you that you might have my joy in you and my joy will remain and that your joy may be full. So praise God. I pray, dear friend, that you will find the joy of the Lord is truly your strength. And when you find the joy of the Lord, you will sing. You will just have to sing. Amen. I've got joy like a river. I've got joy like a river. I've got joy like a river in my soul. I've got joy like a river. I've got joy like a river. I've got joy like a river in my soul. Praise the Lord. God help you to sing, dear Christian. And if you're not a Christian, you need to open your heart to Jesus and let Him come in and He'll bring a song and you'll be able to sing and follow the Lord. Let me close with this illustration. I heard Dr. W.A. Criswell, who was formerly, before he died, he was pastor at the First Baptist Church in Dallas for 50 years. And Dr. Criswell said he held in his earlier years he said he held a revival for a preacher in South Carolina. And he said he went to him and he was in that revival meeting. And he said that he hadn't seen this man in several years. He knew him at the seminary. They were in the seminary together. And uh, so years ago, you know, before that. And this man told him this story. He said, uh, Dr. Crystal said, there's uh, something unusual happened to me when I was in the seminary. You were in the seminary. He said, well, I was, I was uh, staying there in the dormitory, and he said, I, I was having a hard time financially. He said, I was planning on getting married, and he said, I didn't have much money, and I couldn't find a job, and I was, my, my time there at the seminary just seemed like it was taking all my time, and I become so discouraged. He said, I just went, I finally said, now, I'm just going to give it up. I'm going to give up this matter of preaching and, and studying for the ministry. I'm going to go back to my home town and get me a job and forget about it. And he said he was sitting by his window there in the dormitory and he heard somebody singing. And he said, I looked out the window and there you were. You were walking across the, the campus, uh, Dr. Criswell, a young man then, and he was singing, Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Do we have trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? Do not be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. He said, I heard you singing that song. Walking across that campus, he said, you'll never know how much it meant. He said, right then I got on my knees and I said, Lord, forgive me. You've called me to be a preacher. You've called me to serve you and I'm going on. I'm going to do it. And that man became a pastor of a large church in South Carolina. And he told Dr. Christopher that story. What a song meant to his heart. Oh, my dear friend, sing because somebody who is listening that needs to hear. Somebody is in the dark. They need that light that you're singing. Somebody out there is hurting and they need your song to give them healing. So learn to sing 
Learn to sing. Learn to smile. Learn to be joyful. Because God loves you. And you're His in Christ Jesus our Lord. God bless you. In Jesus' name, Amen.